Welcome back, guys. It's time for another Sunday booster cracking. Finally, after my little hiatus, uh, you know, I was sick. I'm finally better. Thank goodness. After like two weeks of on and off, just sick and allergies and all that crap. Finally better, but it threw me off, threw me off quite a bit with uh, recording and feeling inspired and excited and motivated to start filming and things and just feeling pumped to open products and things like that. It's been, it's been difficult. You know, Glios was fun to open up all the mail and you guys seem to enjoy that and I definitely want to do that again. Uh, but I had to kind of get my bearings straight. I had some laptop trouble. My laptop was running slow, which made editing and stuff a pain in the butt for like even the glios video um and it just made me it put a damper on trying to uh edit another huge 4k video so i'm switching things up a little bit trying to keep things a little bit more simple for myself just going to be doing it in 1080p to see if that works out a little bit better i don't know if you guys have a preference over like 4k to 2k or just watching in 1080p when you guys watch videos on youtube let me know in the comments what you guys preferably watch videos on and what loads best for you guys because i'm considering just going back to 1080 uh just to save my computer woes a little bit of trouble and my memory oh my gosh the 4k videos take up so much so much memory it's ridiculous it'll definitely save some space uh for myself and hopefully let things run a little bit easier on my laptop and, and things like that which will help get me motivated to uh want to edit a little bit easier and uh actually know that my computer is going to work how I want it to when I go to record and then edit. Uh, so I had to kind of get my bearings straight. You know, I've, it's been thrown off a little bit. Well, my birthday's coming up this week. Actually, when you see this video, my birthday would have been yesterday, and I definitely want to get something out for like Easter and things. And, you know, the biggest set that I can always get excited for when it comes to opening cards is always going to be some New Dawn Rises. I know I've opened up a ton of these and I am just desperate to find that Anubis Secret Rare, as I'm sure you guys are aware, seeing as we've opened like six of these boxes now, I think at this point, and I've still got still got a few more back here to open up in the future, but uh, no better way to get back into things with just something I genuinely just enjoy, a set I enjoy opening and I can get behind. Um, but let me know in the comments. I want to see some more comments from you guys of what sets of force of will and things that you want to see that amps me up a little bit too to know you guys are excited to see certain sets and certain force of will products or crazy bone what have you you name it uh, but i figured let's jump into some new dawn rises let's cross our fingers let's try to find an anubis secret rare get back on track with the channel and everything and hopefully things will be a little bit smoother going forward um but yeah let me know in the comments uh what you guys like to see mainly i want to see some more comments on the video so i implore you to make sure you comment below and talk to me about the different things that you guys want to be seeing what you're excited for and so on and so forth but let's get into it let's start opening up some new dawn rises we're back again we're set up we're ready to go we're ready to dive into new dawn rises you guys already know i already did the intro so let's get started you guys are all familiar with the box so let's just go ahead and slice into it here and see if we can pull the anubis rare i'd say you know early birthday gift for me that'd be pretty stellar if i could find it for a nice early birthday gift that would be oh man that'd be amazing oh boy i really hope and there it is and you know our promo cards in here but we we already know we know we've been through it like six times facts are out let's dive in first one let's dig into it here and we're just gonna you know kind of do our little skippy maneuver uh just to get to the better stuff we got the mysterious wanderer here into a nice full art magic stone of dueling we have no need to do anything but go to the rare at the end so let's continue on and find it let's see here rare we got atlantis don't like this card but we get an explosion wizard a nice full art uncommon beautiful looking card for an uncommon really nice here it is here it is oh boy oh don't show it off yet though come on now all right let's see we're a little bit farther away oh vivian very nice these are always worth some value gonna set it to the side here we got a valkyrie of the future and we've got the one who gazes at the soul common i'll have to go back through and see how many vivians i skipped over uh while you know skipping to the rares because i always try to pull those out because you know those things retain value they're always like three bucks or something we got anubis right here just the normal version 
and the Momin Common. And if you haven't guessed, I'm not really going to do prices on anything too crazy, unless it's unless it's crazy, a crazy card, or something that actually has some decent value, I would say. So there's our rare Magic Stone of the Undead. Grand Bird of the Lost Isles is our full art common. Lots of the commons. Let's get them out of the way now. We'll go into the nice stuff in a little bit. I'm fine with that. We got to, you know, retain the viewers. We can't just pull the secret rare Anubis straight off the bat. We got to actually search for it a little bit. As long as it's in the box. That's all I care about. All right. Magic Stone of Dueling and Look of Corruption full art. Yes. All right. If there's anything you want to be hitting in this box, it's Look of Corruption because... Outside of the secret rares, this card has some great, great value for the full art. So prices will be up for this one. Um, where is it at now? Probably like 12, between, it rotates, fluctuates between 12 to $18. Beautiful, awesome looking card, really dope. You love to see it. You love to see the look of corruption. Uh, but, you know, we got to get the secret is our true mission here. But I'll take it. I'll take it. That's fine. And we got Uncommon. All right, look at Corruption. Even the normal version has some value. Um, don't know where it's at. Could be, it's it's probably like five to eight or something like that. Uh, Village of the Spirited whatever Uncommon. Here we go. Let's see it. I saw something blue at the end, so I don't know if this is it. But let's see. We got Lancelot, the Glass Knight, and we've got Thick thick Boy Fog over here, Common. I remember seeing some posts uh, recently uh, from back in the day when New Dawn Rises came out about people pulling God Packs in the set. I don't know if I've ever pulled a God Pack from New Dawn Rises. I don't believe I have, so they must be very, very hard to come by. We got the Teos Kanlun here, super rare, and we've got Scorching Winds Common. Dream would be, you know, hit the God Pack and pull the Secret Rare at the end of the God Pack. I don't know if that's possible. Don't know if they threw in any secrets uh, at the end of God Packs. I'm not sure how that went down, but we shall see. Uh, Burial Rites, a decent card in the Full Art foil. We got Bird of Fire here as our common Full Art. Here it is. Let's see it. All right, we're, we're not really skipping that many. I'm like skipping five and then going to these. All right, uh, Magic Stone Corruption. Obrazuki, dope, dope card. $10, I think, 10 to 12 for a full art of her. Uh, this one's probably only like two bucks, maybe a buck 50 for just that. Venomous Scorpion, common. Uh, not what we want to be seeing yet, but again, we're getting rid of the commons right now so we can focus in on the nice super rares, full arts, and secrets. This is all according to my plan. This is what I wanted for the box, and uh, the box is listening. It knows that I want to wait till the last second to pull that Anubis. Magic Stone of the Undead, rare full art, dope card. I really love the look of this full art. It is so sick, man. Just check that out. So dope looking. Next one, let's see it. Ooh, what was that at the end? Ooh, ooh, I don't know. All right, let's go through. Uh, not really skipping. Black Spot, Tiger, and Magic Stone of Dratermagergi as our uncommon. Again, a nice looking Magic Stone for the full arts, even though it's an uncommon. I'll give it credit. It's dope. Okay, we're into it. Let's see it. I think I just like smacked that back card. I don't want to be bending our nice Secret Rare Anubis, but we do get Ophelia, Angel of Guidance for our Super Rare Full Art. Dope card. It does retain a little bit of value, maybe a five bucker here on this one. It's a beautiful card. So it's, you know, people like these. It's it's really nice. So I will, I will take it. She's a good one. All right, a Super Rare, a Look of Corruption, an Ophelia. You know, we're doing it, we're doing it here. We've got Vivian again. All right, let's pull her to the side. We'll keep her on stack. Hamlin, Sound of Temptation, nothing to be worried about. And Magic Stone of the Hermit Full Art. I don't think I've gotten the Full Art of uh, our little Hermit Stone here. Pretty sick artwork. I don't ever really look to appreciate the artwork until I get it in the Full Art. So this is pretty sick for a Magic Stone. I just skip over it, you know? I skip over it completely. I saw something. I want to say I saw a Tengu in our little super rare slot. So Life Severing Blade. Good, good card. Full art is a good card. And uh, it, it was a Tengu, a Squall of the Tengu, not our character one. Uh, but that's okay. This is still a sweet looking card. Next one. Let's see it. We got Cat Ninja up here at the top. What am I skipping through to the uncommons? We got Bale, Evil from the Scriptures as our super rare. And we get Haggith. 
Angel of Alchemy as our common full art. It's a dope one. It's cool. Just a common. All right, let's see it. Come on. Let's see it. All right, we're seeing some orange, but I don't think it was our last slide. I think this was the orange we saw, Carrier. Our silly little Carrier Camel. Protection of the Angel, super rare. And a cool looking Merlin controlling unit of the Sky Round Rare Full Art. Okay, cool. I don't think it has value anymore. It used to a little bit, but not anymore. All right, in we go. Let's see the next pack. We got our Skeleton Knight here on top. Going to the Uncommons, going to Lemura. Uh, the Magic Boomerang, the little annoying Magic Boomerang. And the, the most hated card in the set for me, Child of the Hero. Derpy, derpy little Hercules boy over here. Uh, never a good sight to see when I pull him in a full art. It's uh, just a common, which thank goodness, it's not anything more than that, but it's uh, definitely one of my least favorite cards of the set. I don't know why I randomly, sporadically went into a uh, different voice for that, but you know, things happen when you're filming, man. You don't always know. Lord of the Afterlife and Ardenite the Nitron Blade full art or a rare sick card. This could have a couple bucks value for the full art, actually. The Nitron Blades can be pretty popular for the full arts. Pulling out a another stack here for us. Let's see if the magic's in this one. Let's go to the first one here. See what's in this. We got our little whatever dude that guy is. Light of the Moon, Balmong is our rare, and we've got Torrent of Energy Common. Getting lots of the commons. All right, I think I've seen enough of the common full arts. We need to, uh, to keep hitting the big stuff now. So let's get into this one. We've got Minerva here. If there's a common I want to see, it's Minerva because she actually has some a little bit of value for the full art. Uh, we got Magic Stone of the Hermit, a Magic Stone of Tranquility Rare, and Bottomless Chasm of Death, the Abyss Uncommon. Let's see it. Come on. You very elusive Anubis, where will you be? I've still got so many, so many boxes left to open up. Ophelia, normal, and Apostle of the Devil, common. No more, no more of these. I think I got like three more boxes of New Dawn. I uh, happened to find a store that messed up an order for Strangers of New Valhalla. I ordered on eBay. They called me up and they're like, we don't have Strangers of New Valhalla. We made a mistake. And I said, do you have... New Dawn Rises, and they said yes, and I said switch it for that, and then I realized after I hung up that I should have asked if they had more, so I called them back and I said, do you, do you have more of New Dawn Rises? And they said, why, yes we do. We've got two more boxes, and I said, please slap those onto my order and send them my way. Ba-bang, Oberazuki as our full art super rare banger of a card, looking fresh, looking awesome. That is sick. Wow. Yep, always love to pull her. She is such a sick character card to find in a full art. Really, really stellar and uh, has that value, like I was saying. Should be at least a 10 spot. Okay, we've uh, gotten a couple decent super rares now for our full arts. I don't know what kind of standing that puts us in with the box. Getting me nervous, magic growth and crow of the Tengu super rare. Okay, okay. All right, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is a good This is a good card. It's fine. It's not highly valued. It's an awesome-looking Tengu card. Uh, but, you know, this is making me nervous that the the super rares we want to be seeing for the full arts, ah, oh, man, I don't know. You know, we're not guaranteed that secret. I don't know if it stacks on top of how many super rares were allotted in the box or if it is cycled into the allotted super rare slots that we get. That is the question. I do not know if you have the answer. Let me know in the comments. Uh, but we just hit a couple in a row, so let's keep going. Let's see it here. Pull this bad boy out and go down to an uncommon with an invitation with a heaven thundering strike rare and invitation uncommon. Hey, all right, cool. It's a dope looking card. I love the blues in this card. They really, really pop. It's a cool looking card. Next one. Let's see it. A little card at the end. Keeps popping out. Don't want to spoil anything. Crow of the Tengu back up here. We got the uh, Oni common. Next up. Let's see it. We got our creepy looking, I don't know, every time I see this card, I always think of It the Clown. Uh, that's what he looks like, honestly. It looks like It the Clown in armor or something, just from far away, unless you really, really get up close, then you can kind of see the details. But I don't know, that's just what I think of every time I, I see that card. Magic Stone of Faith, rare, and then Fresh Blood Vampire Common. All right, well, let's see the next pack. We got the Abyss card at the back. 
or front, I should say, look of corruption. Whoa, 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 don't spoil the end here. Another look of corruption. When you find a look of corruption box, you find it. They will give you several copies. I don't know how they stack boxes, uh, but these Valhalla sets are kind of crazy. Like you, you get a certain cards and you just get doubles of them in crazy value in some of these boxes, especially for look of corruption boxes. We got two regular versions and a full art. This has happened a couple times to me now where I've gotten look of corruption boxes. Pretty dope. Behind it, we've got tiny trader. All right, we, you know, it wasn't anything. It was just a common. Oh, the boxes be stacked a little bit, but how can you tell when you have a box that's stacked with that secret rare Anubis? Who knows? We got the rare and we've got City Mirage Sandora Uncommon. Next one. Oh goodness, what? What is happening with that? The glue on that is crazy. We got our Child of the Hero, Terrible Card, and Magic Stone of Adventure, Siegfried, 100 Years Hero, Super Rare, and Messenger of Death, just the common. Oh my goodness, we're like running out of packs already. We flew through this box. Wow, 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 we've got five packs left. Oh my gosh, I just blazed through this thing. Wow. All right, five packs to find the Anubis in this box. Oh boy, oh boy. Can we do it? Magic Boomerang, Magic Stone Adventure. Again, another Magic Stone that I haven't gotten in a full art. Gotta appreciate it a little bit. Looks pretty sick. I like how it's all revolving in the tree itself. Pretty dope. All right, four packs. And we gotta get that secret. Man, if we get the secret here, whoo, buddy, we were cutting it close to the last few packs. That'd be crazy. Azale, the Fallen Angel of Gloom, dope card. Love to get full arts of her, but we've got Taost of Kunlun Shen Gongbeo as our super rare full art. Again, another super rare that we don't really wanna see. He's not really valued highly or anything. He's kind of a trash super rare, uh, but all right, I don't know. Let's go to the next one and cross our fingers. This is uh, the final three, the final three packs. We got Paradise, we got Azel again, Fallen Angel of Gloom with Disgrace Knight as our rare full art. All right, he's not worth anything. Oh, Destiny, will it be on my side for my birthday? I don't know, but we've got the two final packs here. Let's get into it. Leave a like on the video and let me know if you wanna continue to see me rage against the machine here while trying to find this Anubis. We got Ardenite, the Nitron Blade, and Magic Stone of Tranquility. It is a rare, it is a full art, but it is not what we want. Final, final pack of the box. Oh my goodness. Please, Anubis, be right here in this pack. Can we pull it off? Will the Force of Will gods hear me? Let's see it. We got Mad Hatter, we got Jarmungu, little eater of worlds, and of course, it ends with the common reign of tears. Always anticlimactic on that final pack, man. Haven't had a, a last pack banger in a while. Little recap with our pulls of the day. Starting off with Life Severing Blade, just the normal, but again, I think it has a couple bucks value even for the normal. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Ophelia, Angel of Guidance, should have a couple bucks value. We go into the Nitron Blade, pretty powerful, pretty sick card, should be pretty good value. Obrazuku, we know it's like a 10, 12 bucker automatically, pretty decent. Now, this was still a good box, and I think you guys already know why. It's because we hit the triple look of corruption. One right here, one right here, and the full art. You cannot complain when you get a look of corruption box. This is a stellar box just for these cards. I mean, dang, just keep stacking them up. I've got like 10 of them now. It's ridiculous. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments what you guys want me to open up next for Force of Will. Do you want me to keep diving into the new Dawn? You know me, I have no qualms with that. I love this set and it's always fun to open and I need to find the Anubis. So subscribe to the channel. Thank you for all the support you guys have been given and thank you for watching them all the way to the end of the video. We will see you guys in the next one.